friends, Amy, Erica, and Tina here from New Leaf Collaborative. We hope you are all doing well. We miss your smiling faces so much. Since we are all learning from home, we thought we would bring Echo Lip lessons to you. And by doing this, the rest of your family is welcome to join and learn with you. We can all make a difference in, uh, for our planet Earth. How cool is that? New Leaf Collaborative is a nonprofit organization that provides learning and leadership opportunities in areas of science, nature, and ecological literacy for the social and emotional well being of our students, educators, and community partners. New Leaf Collaborative is partnering with Martinez Unified School District, the City of Martinez, and Republic Services to bring you this video. New Leaf also brings community service workshops, offering hands-on science opportunities to most of our NUSD elementary schools and provides the community garden program at MJHS. The state of California, through CalRecycle, mandated in the 90s that each city in California must reduce its waste, since the percentages are unreachable right now with China's strictest regulations on imported solid waste and COVID-19. We as a community need to get to zero waste before we run out of resources and space in our landfill. The City of Martinez Republic Services and the Martinez Unified School District partner each year with New Leaf Collaborative to provide equal literacy and equal leadership to students because educating our youth is our future. So this is where Tina, Amy, and I come in. Each year we present lessons to nearly 1,900 Martinez Elementary School students grades TK through 5th at all four MUSD elementary sites. We want to thank all of you in the Martinez community for all of your efforts towards stewardship and sustainability from Earth Ambassadors. Thank you. With many of us stuck at home doing spring cleaning and with our children working on assignments from home, it's important now more than ever to know what we can do to reduce what we put in our landfills. It is estimated that our current landfill will reach capacity in 30 to 50 years. What will happen then? Are you willing to store your trash in your backyard? You can help reduce what goes into the landfill in two simple ways, recycle and compost. Items that can be recycled should be recycled and not go straight into the landfill. Items that be can be recycled are cardboard, paper, paper products such as your boxed food items, metal cans and aluminum products, glass containers, plastic containers, takeout containers, and fairly recently, you can now put plastic bags into your home recycling bin. More on that in a bit. Who remembers the one thing we always remind students to do before they put recycled items into the recycling bin? That these items are as clean as possible. Students, here's your chance to make a difference. When you are at school, there is no way to rinse out your plastic food containers, is there? But now you can since you're home. Scrape all that food out of the containers if it doesn't all go into your tummy and give those recyclable containers a good rinse. If you have a place to let it dry before putting it into your recycling bin, that's even better. Republic Services, our garbage company, would like our recyclables to be empty, give them a good wash, and a good dry. For plastic items, look for the recycling symbol. You can recycle anything with numbers 1 through 7. Paper products must not have any food on it. If it does, you can compost it, but more on that later. As far as the plastic bags go, you must bag them into one bag rather than throw them individually into the recycling bin. That's because if they are loose, it's easy for them to fly away from the recycling truck and end up in the oceans affecting our wildlife. Tricky items such as styrofoam, paper milk cartons, chip bags, and foil type yogurt lids cannot be recycled, even if the recycle symbol is on it. There is no market for styrofoam because of its low quality. Paper milk cartons have a waxy coating on the paper product which makes recycling difficult. Chip bags and yogurt foil type lids are made with aluminum foil, but it is also bonded with plastic. Because these items cannot be separated, they must go into the lamp. Another very tricky item that we need to call your attention to are disposable plastic utensils. These must not be recycled. 
Each brand is made of different types of plastics, and there is no way to know which type of plastic it is. Also, due to their shape, they tend to jam the machines at the recycling facility. So please remember to throw your plastic utensils into the trash. Remember when we said we as a community need to get to zero waste before we run out of resources and space in the landfill? Well, recycling is good, but it takes energy and resources to make recycled products. But there's something better than recycling, and that is to reduce and to reuse. Reduce impulse purchases to items that you really need. Reuse when possible. When you reuse something, you're automatically reducing the amount of product being purchased. So when you are shopping, try to buy things that will not create more waste, such as single-use water bottles or individually prepackaged foods. Purchase food in larger boxes to be divided into single servings. When you do that, you are easily creating less waste overall. If you use a container for your drink that you can refill over and over, you are creating zero waste, and that's the overall goal. Would you believe me if I told you that composting is one of the easiest ways to keep food out of the landfill? More food ends up in the landfill than plastic or paper. Food waste creates 20% of waste in landfills. 20%? Wow, it may not seem like a huge number, but it does make a difference. Also, food that sits in the landfill can't decompose or break down quickly or properly. You need air and water to make things decompose because the food that is smashed together in such a tight space, um, instead of decomposing, it releases methane gas, which, as you may know, contributes to global warming. But if you compost your food waste, you are helping your city turn that waste into soil. You are also doing the earth a favor by creating soil for farmers and gardeners to grow new things. Questions we always get are, can you compost meat bones, cheese rinds, coffee grounds, coffee filters, or tea bags? The answer is yes. Any type of food can go into the compost bin. Not only can you compost food, but your child can tell you the other item that you can compost, and that item is paper. Food soiled paper to be exact. Why should you compost food soiled paper and not recycle it? The recycling companies have no way to wash away food or grease that's stuck on paper. But if you think about it, paper is made from trees, and because it was once a tree that grew from the earth, it can be composted. The saying we use in our lesson is, what came from the earth can go back into the earth. So food and food soiled paper are the only two items that can go into the compost bin, which is also your green yard waste bin at home. Some examples of non-food items that can be composted are food soiled paper plates, napkins and paper food wraps, tea bags, popsicle sticks, paper baking cups, and greasy pizza boxes. Bonus points if you take the 30 seconds to separate the greasy part of your pizza box from the clean part, which can go into the recycle bin. Be super careful which paper cups can be composted. Most cannot because they have a waxy film on it to keep it from dripping. Dixie cups are typically the only paper cups that can go into the compost bin. Plastic cups that say they are compostable are really not because they are a hybrid of food and plastic and can't be separated at the facility. Utensils that say they are compostable or biodegradable must not be composted either. Just like the plastic compostable cup, the materials in these items are made with food and plastic which requires a special facility to break them down. We currently do not have a facility near us to do that, so these must also go into the trash. If you don't already have a countertop composting bin, you can purchase one or use any container to hold your items until you can take it out into your green yard waste bin. You can also request a free one from Republic Services once our shelter in place is over. 
If you are in the Martin Martinez city limits and are currently receiving weekly organic pickup, then you are able to take advantage of composting your food, food soiled paper, and landscaping materials. Unfortunately, if you are currently receiving bi-weekly service for organics and you live in the county, then at this time, composting is not available. We understand some parrots are a little grossed out with composting. We have green team students tell us the same thing. We just tell them, you have to remember it's just food. And honestly, it's a change of mindset and priorities. We are trying to teach students that it's worth our efforts now rather than not having anywhere for our trash to go later. And as a parent, you've probably seen grosser things, right? Once you toss it into your green yard, yard waste bin, it's out of sight, out of mind. One more thing we'd like to add. The California government created the California Redemption Value, also known as CRV. If you are collecting cans or bottles and turning them in, you are taking advantage of CRV, which can help families if they are pinching their pennies during this uncertain time. And of course, you can put your recyclables into your recycle bin. Whether a local hauler or an individual redeems CRV for cash, CRV makes a difference and is beneficial to our economy. This program has shown to make a difference because Californians recycle more than those states who do not offer this program. We are lucky to have a designated recycle center here in Martinez right off Pacheco Boulevard. So take advantage of this great program once our shelter in place is lifted. Please help our earth by reducing the amount of waste that goes into the landfill by reusing, reducing, recycling, and composting. The American historian Howard Zinn once said, remember, small acts when multiplied by millions of people can transform the world. You and your family can make a huge difference.